County investigators are working to unravel a brutal attack, a stabbing leaving one man dead and a woman recovering at a Bay Area hospital. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Laura Harris. That man was able to crawl out of his Port Ritchie apartment where he begged neighbors to get him help. Some of those neighbors took video of the man's last moments and gave that video to police as evidence. ABC Action News reporter Jacqueline Glaze talked with those neighbors. And I walked up to the guy. I noticed he was full of blood. So I asked him what's going on. And he kept on asking me for water. A routine walk to the gym has landed Jose Ortiz in the middle of a crime scene. He says a man full of blood ran by him. And that's when he whipped out his cell phone and started recording another man crawling out of his ground floor apartment and through the grass here at Park Place apartment complex in Port Ritchie. The man who's been identified as 29 year old Kenneth Martizes was naked. We cannot show you the video because it's just too graphic. A few people started coming around. As I'm recording them, a girl comes behind me and she has a throat cut. So I'm like, hey, what's going on here? She said that this guy cut her first and then went after him. Patricia Rogers is one of the neighbors who came running to help. I was in the living room and all of a sudden I heard this big humongous scream. And I ran out and I saw this man laying on the ground and I walked up to him. I said, what happened? Are you all right? He said, I was stabbed. Rogers and Ortiz stayed by the man's side while others called 911. Ortiz wrapping the man in a blanket. Then the next thing I know, he says, I can't breathe. As I'm recording, the guy dies. Police immediately started searching in the air and on the ground for the male suspect, while the female victim, who eyewitnesses say was able to walk and talk, was rushed to an area hospital. Her throat was cut from practically from one ear to the other, but it wasn't that really that deep because she was able to talk. Police found the suspect within 90 minutes. They told ABC Action News he knew the victims. This, this is too close to home. Now, that woman identified as Asia Spencer is expected to recover. That eyewitness did take six videos. He told me that when he initially tried to hand them over to the officers that first responded, they told him to get away from the scene and were yelling at him. Now, when he came to me, I did view all of those videos. I immediately saw that they had evidentiary value, and I immediately took that man over to police. It is because of ABC Action News that those deputies tonight have this critical evidence. We're live tonight in Pasco County. Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News.